I am off to a new spot to check out more reef. Some viewers have asked how long I spend each day in the water. Well, as long as I can, sometimes as much as eight hours a day. And no, I never get bored. Exploring new territory is one of my favorite things to do. Basically, I tow the boat and along the way I see all sorts of cool stuff like this wreck. Calm conditions are the best with a small wind up your bum so as to carry the boat along nicely. Further up I see a cave, so I push the boat out a bit so it won't go up on the reef and go check it out. This is an awesome cave. There are so many snappers in here, it's not funny. But I want to check it out from the other end, so it's a quick look to see if the boat's okay, and down we go. A nice little swim through here. Obviously you need to keep an eye out for squalls because a good 25 knots will push the boat faster than I can swim. 15 to 20 knots will keep you very fit keeping up with it and 5 to 10 knots is a casual swim with no stress and is ideal. Going along this way without anchoring I can swim one way up to 10 kilometres in a session and cover heaps of reef. I try to remember the good spots by landmarks, lining up two islands or an island against wrecks or beech trees or hills on the mainland. This is a good spot right here because there is a way into the lagoon, so we'll anchor and go check it out. Shallow water, small cave, didn't expect much, but look what it turns into.
for the bloody sightseeing rubbish. Let's go to a new spot and kill something for lunch. It's very shallow here. Just waiting to see if any waves will get us. We don't want to have a repeat performance like before. There were no real waves at all. And just as I was putting dinner into the boat, a couple came. I just pushed the boat as far forward as possible and let the road do all the rest. But still, this is not what I want to happen to a brand new boat. It was all okay in the end, but enough of history. Let's see what's around here. Caught out in the open with nowhere to hide. So I back away and he still comes in. I'm not shooting this one, he's a bit too stupid. Dinner is sorted. What am I up to today? We've got a pole, a hand spear, another hand spear without the head. What the hell am I up to? And a blue bag. This little bit's about showing you what lengths we go to get the right picture. I've been waiting for about 17 days for a good sunset. I don't know if this is gonna be a good one. I don't know, but I've gotta be prepared and I've gotta go out and try it. And all of them been failures so far. So it's not a good uh, statistic. I thought it was going to be shallower. Maybe it's shallower over there.
sure I check around. This is the Croc Island right here and the one over, but this one mainly, as you can see all the mangroves. So it's his time right now and well, I gotta take a picture. Okay, I'm gonna try and get the boat in as well. I would have liked the boat to be further out, but I'm not gonna re-anchor it now because it's hard to see the reef, so. Can we possibly get the boat in? I, I think I am getting the boat in. It's hard to friggin' see because of the sun. All right, we'll sort that out later. Ready? Stop wobbling. As you can see, nothing but quality. What I was saying before, we've had such a poor success rate with getting the sunsets is because Half of them I go, yeah, I say, let's just say the last two weeks, right? Half of them I'd go, well, I think that's, it's gonna be good. And so I get it all set up there, and then the clouds come in and it just wrecks it. The other half, I know from about four o'clock that it's pretty well screwed, except for one, which was a perler, and I missed it. So I've gotta be ready for all um, sunsets. And so basically for two hours from four, I'm just sitting up going, oh, what am I gonna do? So. This is probably, I think this is day 17 and we still haven't got a good one. So I've spent more than a day and a half just trying to get a hyperlapse of a sunset. So it's crazy. Notice the, oh, I bumped it. But anyway, it's a bit early yet. Shivers, gonna look around. <sighs> Crocs, jeez. Notice the Samsung crack screen S5. Yes, five years old. This started the blog and yes, it's still going strong. Well, I shouldn't say started going strong battery life's only 35 minutes it'll just be enough and then we'll lose it cloud it up again this is what I mean but this one it might be too bad might be some nice oranges I mean orange yeah cloud it up welcome to San Blas very rare where you see a sunset ah back to the drawing board Bugger. the best I came up with. It isn't great, but be patient, we get a nice blast of colour just in a bit. Yeah, really quite ordinary, I know. Perfect for the vlog, really. Uh, I give up. <laughs> 